I actually started our horse and carriage business in 1999. We uh, went full time in 2001. And since then, we have developed a business into not just horse drawn carriages. We do tours, we do funerals, weddings, ethnic weddings, um, anything you can imagine. If a horse can pull it, we, we've done it in, those, in this amount of time. Parts of this that are very hard. This is not an easy business, but there are parts when you get to that point where there's a lot of enjoyment out of it. We do a lot of weddings. We see people on their best days. Uh, one of the big parts of our business are horse-drawn funerals. And I'm honored to be a part of that. We do a lot of funerals for veterans, which in my opinion is probably the most honored time of anything I do is being able to take that veteran on his final ride to his family. I love to do five-year-old princess parties. You show up with a big pumpkin carriage and they have a princess there, they are literally living the dream and they buy wholeheartedly into that. So to see their eyes, that's always great. Uh, another uniqueness is uh, we have not kept all of our eggs in one basket. We do a lot of tours. We do tours in Charlotte, uh, Southport, North Carolina, uh, some different places around uh, on just a uh, occasional uh, maybe holidays. Uh, a few of our biggest clients that we work with year after year, uh, we do all the carriages at Christmas for the Billy Graham Library. As far as inspiration in this business, I think that rather than it being one person that inspires us, our industry and our hobby and our passion for the horse-drawn trade in general is inspired by one another. We're a tight-knit group across the nation. There are thousands of us that do this, but still it's a very small portion of the equine trade. We look at each other, even if it's a competitor or if it's someone who does it as a hobby, and we try to cheer one another as much as we can. I would say the proudest moment since I've been in the horse-drawn industry was when I was able to carry my mom and my dad to their funeral, the final resting place graveside. I'll forever have that memory and it, that makes it all worthwhile to me.